Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be showing you how to use Chiaki, a free and open source PlayStation Remote Play client for streaming PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 games to your Android device. I have been using this application for about a week now, very impressed by its performance, it's quite similar to Moonlight. Using Moonlight we can stream PC games to our devices. I have already shown you this application in action on my Steam Deck, we will drop the video link in the description. In this video I will be showing you how to set it up on Xiaomi Pad 6, an Android device. For the most stable experience, it is recommended to connect both PlayStation console and your streaming device to your router via an Ethernet connection, basically a wired connection. Personally, I just connect my console to my router via Ethernet and connect my Android device to the same internet network via a 5 GHz band wireless channel. Chiaki is available on different platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android and even Nintendo Switch. So first thing first, need to download Chiaki's APK. Just go to this website, I'll drop its link in the description. Scroll down, tap on F Android link, Android, scroll down, tap on this link, download APK. This build was added on 26th August 2023. I have already downloaded it. Once the download is complete, just run the APK file, download it, installing the application. That's it. In order for Chiaki streaming to work, we need to have a PS4 or PS5, our streaming device and we also need to enter our PSN ID in Chiaki. I'll be showing you how to obtain it. Now we need to enable the remote play setting in our PlayStation console and generate a pin that we will be entering in Chiaki for the purpose of registering our console on it. Alright, my PS4 has started, just need to go to settings, through here, scroll down until you find remote play connection settings open it make sure enable remote play setting is checked from here then select add device a pin will be generated this pin will be valid for five minutes upon its expiration a new pin will be generated you just need to enter the latest pin in chiaki that's it we are done here i have connected my ps4 controller to xiaomi pad 6 via bluetooth port i launch chiaki it has already detected my ps4 console as both chiaki and the console are connected to the same internet network we need to register our console on Chiaki. Tap on the three dots here. Tap on settings. You can see registered consoles nil. So our streaming won't work. I'll stick with the default settings here. Scroll down. Resolution set to 720p. I'll change the resolution to full HD. This may not work on PS4. Should definitely work on PS5. On PS4 resolution may drop down to 720p. FPS set to 60. You can change the bitrate from here. I'll stick with auto. Codec H265 also known as HEVC, PS5 only, PS4 uses H264 also known as AVC, H.265 has better compression efficiency by up to 50% than H.264, that's it with the settings, now for the purpose of registering a console on Chiaki, tap on registered consoles, then tap on the plus icon here, select your console from here, if you are using a PS5, select PS5, now I am using PS4 Slim, and its version number is 11 so I'll select this option version equal to or greater than 8 scroll down PSN account ID base 64 form there are multiple ways of obtaining PSN ID for Chiaki I just use this website psn.flipscreen.games I'll give its link in the description of the video all you need to do is enter your PSN username in this slot and then click on submit you don't even need to enter your PSN password. Some applications require it. For example, I'll just type gaming DJ. Submit. You just need to copy the encoded ID. Tap on copy here. Go back to Chiaki. Paste the account ID here in this slot. Now we need to enter the ping. That is generated by our PlayStation console. Then just tap on register. Register successful. That's it back back now tap on our console we are in virtual controls are working even our gamepad is working entirely up to you whether you want to use the virtual controls or the gamepad in order to disable the virtual controls just swipe down from the top right corner like this uncheck on screen controls there you go controls are gone you can change the aspect ratio by tapping on these three options any one of these yeah this is stretch display I'll stick with the middle option full screen 
I'll just start Uncharted Part 2. Alright, the game has started. There's Nathan. This game actually runs at 60 FPS on PS4. And check out the input response. Very responsive control. Stream quality looks crisp. Not observing any artifacting. Stream is consuming almost 1 megabyte per second. Nathan is heard. This game was ahead of its time. Stunning visuals. I played it on PlayStation 3 back in the day. The good old days. Always makes me nostalgic. A lot of scripted events in this game. Found a weapon, there you go. Treasure. Looking for a way out. Ammo. Shoot the lock. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. Reload. Yeah, combat time. Just waiting for it. Oh my god. I think I shot a barrel. Exploded here. The controls are as responsive as a native game. Very impressive performance by Chiaki. The best part is that it's very easy to set it up. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just moving forward. Oh my god. Nathan knocked out I'll end the video guys I hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day